Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Brianna and before we get into my furnished apartment tour, I want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for 10,000 subscribers. I'm so, so grateful for all of you guys who are subscribed, super excited. I just posted and took an Instagram photo with these balloons. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that handle up here and also down below. But again, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to continue growing. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. I upload new videos every single week. I always interact and respond to the comments down below and would love it if you guys would join my channel. At the end of this video, so stick around until the very end, I'm going to announce the giveaway winner of my AirPods for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Okay, so I moved into this apartment about two months ago. If you guys haven't seen my unfurnished apartment tour, that will be linked up in the cards and also down below. This is my furnished apartment tour. Um, this might be a long one. I'm gonna give you guys details about where everything is from and I will try as best as possible to link all of the different pieces of furniture and everything you guys see down below based on room. So without further ado, let's get into my apartment tour. Okay, so starting from here, this is the front door. I have a command hook that I like to keep my keys on that has my wallet and keys there. And then my handy dandy stick vacuum. This one is cordless, and so this is just the place that makes most sense for me to charge it. Um, this one is a Bissell pet vacuum, I believe. I use this everywhere, so on the carpet and hardwood floor bathroom, pretty much everywhere. Um, over here, you know, we're in a pandemic, and so I've gotten quite the assortment of mask my favorite are these ones from Old Navy and again just hung up on a command hook and so I try to take my shoes off as soon as I walk in I usually just throw them there until I put them away and right here is a storage closet which is very messy um, for some reason I keep my Swiffer mop broom in there just a bunch of random storage things some more camera equipment hats It's kind of just a place to store junk. I have some luggage and just random things that I like to tuck away in there and then this door is my hot water heater. Um, since I don't ever access that door, I will keep my recycle in front of that because I'm not going to open it. My apartment does have valet trash and recycle, so that's really nice. They gave me that and also provided me with a trash can. So all I do is leave the bag outside my door and they come and get it every single night, which is amazing. And so to the right is my kitchen. So guys, honestly, I didn't really clean up a whole lot. This is typically what it looks like. And so I have all stainless steel appliances, which is super nice. And I guess I'll start from the pantry. I love that I have an actual pantry. Um, so yeah, just basic pantry. I need to go buy more food, honestly. And down below are all of my grocery bags that I will use as my bathroom trash can. If you guys know, you know. Um, and then just basic fridge. I don't have a water thing, so I do have a Brita filter that I use for water. And my fridge right now is looking pretty empty, so I definitely do need to go grocery shopping. And just basic freezer. I do have an ice maker, but I don't really use ice because I just like room temperature drinks. Not sure if that's just me. Um, and then over here, I have an electric glass top stove, which I actually prefer because I'm used to that. I've never had a gas one before, so I like that I have this, but it does get pretty dirty. And then I have this empty wine holder. I need to go stock up on wine. My air fryer, I cannot live without that, but honestly, the only thing I make is fries and veggie burgers. And then I have my toaster. So if you guys notice, I like to unplug my appliances when I'm not using them. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel better and I feel like it's not using electricity because even though you're not using something if it's plugged in there still is a small amount of electricity being used um, over here is my coffee maker and then I just have a fruit basket but actually has veggies in there right now this right here I got this from um, one of my coworkers who was moving, and so I want to fill this up with corks after I finish wine bottles. Of course, that's gonna take a long time, but it's just a cute little decor piece. And then just some utensils. This is from Target. I freaking love Target. Um, and just some different utensils there. 
I love that I have a super big sink. Dishes need to be washed. Okay, so my dishwasher, I actually have not used. <laughs> I use it as a drying rack once I hand wash my dishes. Um, I live alone and so I typically don't have a lot of dishes and don't wanna waste water to run a whole dishwasher cycle. So that is the kitchen. And I love that I have a, um, I think it's a peninsula, a peninsula. So I have these two bar stools here, which honestly really just hold storage in my bag and stuff like that. One other thing that I quickly want to show you guys that I love is that some of these outlets have USB and so I can charge like my headphones or different things like that. So after that, there is supposed to be the dining room area, but it's kind of like my office and then over here is the kitchen and the bathroom is right to the right. So I'll actually do the living room area first. So over here I have a side table and yes, I still have Christmas decor up. It's almost February, I do not care. Um, this storage thing is from Ikea and so I like to put my shoes down here. And also over here is where I keep my gym bag. It's kind of a cute cage thing and just other random things. So I have oils for my oil diffuser. Um, these are gifts that I need to wrap up and a cute little leather board. Okay, so here's a mirror. Not sure where it's from. This one was gifted to me from that same coworker that gave me the um, jar thing and then a cute stool from Marshalls and my Christmas tree. Look at this ornament that a coworker gave me. 2020 is elfed up and in the back, 2020 stink, stink, stunk. So eventually I probably will take that down, but for now I like it and it's going to stay there. So something else I wanna show you guys is that I have smart plugs um, in different spots around my apartment. And so I can go to my Apple Home app and with the push of a button, it will turn them on and then boop, turn them off. So just a cool little thing. Okay, and over here, these bar stools are from Target. They were pretty expensive, like $90 each, but they're super, super comfortable. And then this is my office area. And so I honestly haven't spent a lot of time at this desk. I usually will edit from my couch or my bed, but I have this giant desk from Ikea and I love, love, love this glass honeycomb top. It's super heavy, so I definitely need a partner or someone to help me move this, but I think it's going to stay there for now. Over here, I have a printer that I have not used and some junk that needs to be thrown away. <laughs> um, this shadow box I made actually recently, even though it's been like three years since I graduated college, but has my cute little stoles and my um, cap and little tassel thing. Then this cart is, um, <laughs> it was supposed to be for my first year as a teacher with like typical classroom things like pencils, pens, highlighters, markers, but COVID happened and everything is online. So I have really not used any of these classroom things. So I'll just keep this here maybe for next year. Then my desk area, this chair is from Wayfair. It's so cute if you guys can't tell by my YouTube theme, and you'll see throughout my apartment, green and yellow are my favorite colors, so super cute chair. And then I like to keep not too much up here, so I have a laptop stand, um, a cute thing from Target, lots of the, of the decor is from Target, and then my leather board. Subscribe, like, comment, share. That's pretty much it. I honestly don't spend a lot of time here. This is supposed to be a dining room area, but I usually will just eat there or usually on the couch. So moving on to the living room. Okay, so here is the living room where I spend the most time. I eat there, edit videos, do schoolwork, take naps. Everything happens right there in that corner of the couch. I love this sectional. It is from Nebraska Furniture Mart. It came with these pillows and then I have a cute throw blanket from Target. And yeah, I pretty much am usually always over here, whether I'm sitting on the floor, on the couch, on my poof over there. I spend most of my time in the living room. 
And I have this table here that sometimes I will eat on. This is from Walmart. It was super cheap. A cute C table so you can pull it up over you. I've also edited videos there. Most of the time, I usually work on this coffee table, which my cousin actually made for me. She made this coffee table and that tray. I will leave her Instagram down below. If you guys live in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area, she does custom wood furniture and she is amazing. So that will be linked down below. So mostly I'm at the coffee table. Um, I got this cute poof from Target that I usually have over here and will sit on. Let me show you guys my typical setup. <laughs> Usually my setup here, I'm sitting on a poof, um, working on the coffee table and watching TV. This is where I'm at 85% of the time. So over here in the corner, I have a blanket basket stuffed full of blankets. I'm always cold and always have multiple blankets on me. This lamp was also gifted to me from my coworker, but it's from Target. Most of the stuff in here is from Target. Coasters are from Target. Fake plants are from Target. Guys, so quick story, I did try to have real plants. I'll show you them and what happened in just a second, but Target has so many of these. They're from Threshold and they're like $5. Really cute fake plants. Also from Target, um, this, okay. So I saw Julia K. Christ, Christ post this and I had to get one from Amazon. This is a candle wick cutter. Is it necessary? Do you need it? No, but it's so cool and you can just cut your candles. Let me do this one. Ah, I just spilled all the ash, but it's just really cute to go and cut all of your wicks. So I keep that there. And also this is my electric lighter. I don't have any gas fluid lighters because this is amazing. All you do is charge it and then you can light your candles with it. So over here, these two bookshelves also gifted from my teacher friend. Thank you so much. These are both from Ikea and they are filled with my fake Target plans, except this one up in the top left is from, I believe Home Goods or Marshalls. But yeah, I just keep candles on there and my fake plans. This side I have books and some of my Polaroid cameras and then is my TV. This is a 58 inch Samsung 4K. I will try to find it and link it down below. I got it for Black Friday so it was a super great deal and then the stand is from Target. I do need to buy more stuff to put on there. I don't even know what's back there. I need to decorate this more because it feels pretty empty. And um, my Barack Obama book which I bought several weeks ago and have not read yet, so I definitely need to start reading that. But that is the living room. Off of my living room, I have my balcony. It's pretty small, but um, it definitely lets in a lot of light, so I love the windows. And outside on my balcony are my dead plants. I need to throw them away because they honestly are just, they're done. Um, I couldn't do them. I had too many gnats flying around them, so I put them outside and invested in some fake plants. Also, one more thing for the balcony. I haven't really put anything out there. It's pretty small, but my cousin who made this coffee table and tray is actually going to make me a custom wood bench. So stay tuned for that because I want to have a cute bench and some cushions. I already have a table out there, so I'm gonna make it super comfy so once it's not as cold outside, I can chill, have a cup of coffee, and read a book out there. Okay, so off of my living room is the bedroom. This is the biggest bedroom I've ever had in my other apartment and at home. I had a really small like 10 foot by 10 foot bedroom. So welcome to my bedroom where I really only sleep here and don't spend a lot of time in here. But <laughs> the bed is from Wayfair. Most of the blankets and pillows and stuff like that is going to be from Target. These are my balloons from my 10K um, picture that I just took earlier today. So all of my side table, nightstand, and then the dresser is a set from Target from the Opal House collection. So, so cute, a little bit expensive, but I actually was gifted that one from my teacher friend and so I decided to buy the matching set. And if you guys see the nightstand is shorter and the side table is higher, I kind of like the um, non-symmetrical look. And above my dresser is my smaller TV. This is a Vizio Vazio TV and I decided to mount this one. I did not mount this myself, my friend did, because I just thought it would look better and I can also get some decor to put on top of my dresser. 
So over here in the corner is my cute beauty area. This fluffy ottoman stool is from Target. Oh, I still have not taken the tag off, so it's from the Project 62, the Redorve, Redorve ottoman. <laughs> it's so cute and actually very comfortable and has these cute like pin, pin hair, hairpin legs. And so when I do have people over, which I honestly have not because COVID, um, it's an extra place I could bring into the living room for seating. This um, is from Ikea. I built this very, very poorly. Look at this <laughs> ratchet drawer. That's not even in all the way, so it, ah, it will literally fall straight out. Um, yeah, I have some makeup palettes in there. I don't really open this drawer too much because I did not build it correctly. Didn't build this part right either. <laughs> you guys see that gap in there, but it opens up. There is a built-in mirror. But I already had my own mirror there, and so here is just my makeup. Cute, cute, cute. I really don't have a lot of makeup. And brushes over there. <laughs> why, why am I out of breath from talking so much? Um, this mirror is from Impressions Vanity, but I actually found it at Marshalls for a lot better price, and it lights up. So cute. I do need to clean it because it does get pretty dusty. And that's pretty much it for my bedroom. Um, I don't really have a lot in here right now, and I just had this jewelry stand that I got from Home Goods. Have my what's it called MagSafe charger that was very expensive and unnecessary. Over here is another lamp that's also a smart plug, so I'm able to control that from my phone. And then I just have like some room spray and a candle and a giant hair clip right there for some reason. <laughs> So on the backs of my doors, I like to get these hangers from Home Goods or Marshalls. Over here, I put jackets, or I, well, I put jackets and a robe, and then over there are a couple of purses. And this will take me into my bathroom. Look at this giant bathroom. I have never had a bathroom this big, and I have a huge stand-up shower. The only downside is this is a mess to clean. I actually need to clean it now if you guys can see how dirty it is. And I do not have a bathtub, which is kind of a bummer, but I feel like I really didn't take a whole lot of baths anyway, so this is my shower. So inside my bathroom, which may be kind of weird, I've never seen this, is actually my washer and dryer, my laundry room. Let me turn the light on. So I'm so, so grateful to have a whole laundry room. I have um, another little shoe thing. This one's from Walmart to keep shoes and a full-size washer and dryer. Again, these two things, washer and dryer, were gifted to me for free by my friend at work. I am so, so grateful for her. I've never had a stainless steel washer and dryer. What is this? And okay, this idea is from my dad. So I got a plastic shower rod from Walmart and put it up there so whenever I'm done washing clothes, I can hang dry them. So lots of my workout clothes and like sweaters and stuff, I do not put in the dryer. And so this is a nice little hack to have a place to hang stuff. And then up there, I just keep like iron, towels, laundry soap, all that good stuff. And it came with this cute hook to hang my towel. Okay, let me really quickly just show you guys this towel so you might not be interested, but this is from Target from Threshold, I believe. It's a bath sheet, but this is the biggest, most comfortable towel ever. Like, hold on, let me let me show you guys the towel. You don't even know. You guys are probably like, okay, it's just a towel. You can't see, but I'm five foot eight nine, and this towel is as big as I am. It was only twelve dollars. It's so thick and so soft. Um, go to Target, Threshold towels. Thank me later. Okay, so here's my vanity area. I love how much sink space there is. I've had an apartment before where it literally would cut off like right there, and I'm like, where am I supposed to put my stuff? So over here. Hand towel from Target, and I keep all of my main beauty products that I use the most on this tear stand from Target. 
Actually, I am going to do a skincare routine soon, but here are some of my faves. Perfume. So I keep my Apple HomePod in here. So, oops. <laughs> Sometimes I'll move it around, but usually in the morning I like to listen to music or at night. So these, I really want to quickly show you. This divider is from Ikea and it fit perfectly in here and I like to keep everything nice and organized so that was super handy. And then I have a lot of space underneath that I have different like hair products, more skincare, feminine products, just random things like that under there. And more storage under the sink where I keep toilet paper, random things like that. My whole <laughs> at home nail salon over there, which by the way, I do my own nails. I think I'm getting better, but yeah, I keep all that stuff under there. And to the closet. So I like to color coordinate my clothes. And so this is what my closet looks like. I love how big this closet is because I do have a lot of clothes. So I keep jeans over there shoes all on the top, t-shirts there, and then over here is just everything, but it's color coordinated. And my hampers, so <laughs> I don't know if this is OCD, but the colored one is for colored clothes and the gray one is like for darks and other things like that. But this is my closet. I always keep these doors open, so I am able to close these two side doors, but it's just me living here and it's too much work to keep opening and closing, so I keep these doors open. So I love that the bathroom also has a door that comes off of the living room so that when I have people over, they can come straight in here and not have to go through my bedroom. But yeah, that is pretty much my apartment. I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm not going to say the exact city, and this is an 800 square foot apartment. So here's a quick overview. Love the hardwood floor, love everything about it. And I love the size of it. For one person, I feel like it's a very good size. Like I don't feel claustrophobic, but at the same time, I feel like it's not too big. So this is where I have been living for the last couple of months. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is my furnished apartment tour. Again, I love it just the way it is. I might add a couple of pieces here and there, but for the most part, it's just an apartment. It's already been two months, and so in 10 months, my lease will be up and I'll be moving. So I'm not really going to go hard into decorations and expensive things because it's not a permanent place to live. Once I buy a home or a house, of course, I am going to go more hard with the decor. But that is my apartment tour. I love living here. The only thing is it's a bit loud because I'm really close to the street so I am going to invest in a better microphone so hopefully you guys can't hear all of the cars and all the noises going on outside there okay so now I'm going to announce the giveaway winner for my airpods which have been sitting oh they've been sitting over here for a while um, these are the original Gen 1 AirPods, brand new, still in the package, have not been opened. So I had my sister go on to that video of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway and randomly chose a person in the comments. So in the future, I will try to make more of a system for doing this, but this is my first giveaway and so my sister went and randomly chose a comment and the winner is... The winner of the AirPods is Sasha Pabis. I will send you a DM on Instagram. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really hope that I can begin to do more giveaways, so make sure that you guys are subscribed down below, and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Again, thank you guys for 10K. I'm so excited to continue to grow. Let's see how many we can hit by the end of 2021, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.